Hi guys, Howard here with Rocket Man from Elton John, of course. And uh, this is just a simple arrangement, kind of a, a strum along type version. Although I do play a couple of arpeggios in here, which I'll explain in the lesson. And uh, this is a cool song. It's fun to play. I'm in standard tuning. The capo, the capo is at the third fret. And uh, like I said, I do play a little uh, pianistic type arpeggio lick, which is really nice. I will explain that with tab on the screen. But I'll also uh, just show you how to play it, strumming it out, okay? So I'll just do the performance, and I'm using a uh, backing track that I created for this. And a quick note on these backing tracks. When I do these, they're just um, an aid to the lesson, an aid to the tutorial. You know, I'm not trying to recreate the recording, the drum track exactly as it was, or the bass track note for note or anything like that. It's really just a tool for you to use if you'd like. Uh, to kind of help out with the tune, the arrangement, and knowing where you're at, okay? So here we go with the performance, and then we'll get into the tutorial. She packed my bags last night pre-flight Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high As a kite by then I miss the earth so much I miss my life It's lonely out in space On such a timeless flight And I think it's gonna be Long, long time to touch down brings me round again to find I'm not the man I think I am at home. No, 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 no. I'm a rocket man, rocket man, burning out his fuse up here alone. And I think it's gonna be a long, long. Time to touch down brings me round again to find I'm not the man I think I am at home. No, 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 no. I'm a rocket man, a rocket man, burning out his views up here alone. Mars ain't the kind of place. To raise your kids In fact it's cold as hell And there's no one there to raise them If you did And all the science I don't understand Just my job five days a week A rocket man A rocket man And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man that think I am at home No, 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 no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning on his views up here alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man that think I am at home No, 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 no I'm a rocket man A rocket man Burning out his views up here alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Time. 
And I think it's gonna be a long, long time And I think it's gonna be a long, long time So the first chord that we have on board here is an E minor 7th Which you can see on the screen and there's a lot of movement in the piano, right? Left hand, right hand, rocking back and forth. So I'm just playing it with this simple strumming pattern. So it's kind of a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. You just do that first down beat to kind of get an accent. So it's like down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, and then switch to the A7 chord. So again, it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, change. So on the A7, it's down, down, up, down, up, and then A sus4. And then back off. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So we have... Pretty simple, but you want to try to get those accents in there because it really makes it sound uh, a whole lot better. Now the second time through, we don't use the A sus4, we just stay with the A7 as we make our way into the next part. So we've got the E minor 7 to the A7, A sus, back to A7, then E minor 7 to A7, and we make our way into that part, which I'll explain. So after you've strummed out the A7, that's like a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, okay? Pretty important because you jump off to play that uh, walk up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So what I'm doing there is an open A string to the second fret, second fret from the capo, of course, and I'm just kind of hitting two or three strings underneath it to make it sound kind of full. So for those chords, the strumming is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you can see the chords on the screen. C, passing chord, we'll call that to keep things simple. A minor seventh, and then an A minor seventh with a G in the bass. And as I said, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So for those first downs, you want to try to emphasize those bass notes descending to really bring that out. I think that sounds pretty nice. And then we land a D chord with an F sharp in the bass, okay? I use my thumb for that. You can do it like that if you like. Um, whichever way is totally fine, okay? But you grab the chord. What I'm doing for the arpeggio, for those of you who want to maybe take it up a notch, is kind of cool. It sounds a little bit pianistic. So I'll put the tab up on the screen and play this really nice and slow for those of you who, you know, might want to check this out. And uh, you can see what's happening in the right hand. of a cool thing to add in there if you want coming off of those chords.
back to the E minor seventh to the A seven. Okay. Now, uh, if you don't want to do the arpeggios, that's totally cool. It's still a great song to play without it. You can just strum it out. that I did that in the performance at one point while I was strumming it. Just pull your second finger off of that D chord. Classic standard stuff, but it adds a little bit of a touch to it. Right on that upstroke. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Then just strum it out and right back to the E minor 7. And then we are into the, uh, I think it's going to be a long, long time part. And so this is just a lot of cool strumming, very simple chords. We're on a G chord, and then we're going to go to a C chord. And we'll do that descending walk again, or at least part of it. And uh, it's played like this. Let's talk about that before we go any further. So I'm moving from a G to a C, obviously, and uh, the strumming pattern I'm using is down, down, up, down, up, down, up. More or less like that, right? Just keep it loose in your uh, right hand and keep it flowing, right? But you'll want to add some accents to keep it uh, from sounding too mundane, right? So we've got this. Just kind of throw some accents and maybe think about the lyrics, the uh, vocal in your mind. And you can vary the accents a lot, which is going to make it sound even better. Right? Anything you can think of to just give it a little variation. So we're playing G to C to G. Now when we make our way back to the C, we're doing uh, a similar walk that we did earlier. Those same two chords, the C chord to the passing chord. And it's basically the same strumming pattern as we used on that previously. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this time we go to the A7. Let me play that whole part for you. And you can see on the A7, it's the same thing. Just try to vary it with some accents. Anything you can think of, once again, to give it a little variety and make it sound sweet. So as you can see, after the uh, A7, I went back to C, back to G, and back to C again, okay? And then you're going to repeat that whole thing again. all over.
And then of course, after you've done that twice, you make your way right back to the verse. <laughs> And you go through everything we've covered again. And then at the end of the song, after you've played uh, the chorus twice, you just float back and forth between C and G over and over again. So there you go, Rocket Man from uh, Elton John, a great tune and uh, kind of a fun intermediate type strummer for guitar. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and as always, we'll see you soon.